Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you, hopefully, how to set up a new Google site. So from your waffle icon here, you're going to click the waffle and sites. Once here, you're going to click this create button. And if you're feeling very, very brave and want to really kind of mess with every feature of the site, you can start with a blank template. But I recommend browsing the gallery. Now these are templates that people here at uh, Runnymede have made, but there's also public templates. There's many different kinds of templates. I think I'm going to choose, let's see, this education website template. Okay. And we're going to, you know what? I don't love that one. Let's try a different one. We'll go back here to Featured, Let's try this classroom site. We'll give it a shot and take a look. All right, so this is the template. I don't know. You know what? I don't want that one either. I'll browse again. And you know what? This is a very nice template. So I'm going to use this one here in Runnymede. And now I like this, so I'm going to use this template. So now the Vols template is selected, and I'll call this site Vols Student Template Demo. I don't know, feeling very wordy. I have my theme. I, I can tag it certain categories and give it a description, but I'm not going to do that for now. So now that I have my template and I have my title, and this is my web address, I'm going to click Create. And as Google is creating my site, I wait, and here it is. So this is my website as it stands right now. I can edit it by using this pencil, and I can edit any text on the page, home, site home, right, and then click save. Right, now that's changed to site home. It's changed over here to site home. Um, I can click the pencil again. This is the body of the website. Type anything, add pictures, oops. In fact, we'll go to insert image and let's see, web address. Let's look up a Chromebook Dell 11 image. Chromebook Dell 11 images. This one looks good. I'll click on that. I'm going to click view the image. That's my raw image. Copy image URL. This is the image URL paste. Nice. Save. All right, so now that's how you can insert an image. I'll click save. It's got a nice little outline around it. I can go back and I can edit it. I can keep it the original size or I can make it small. I can center it. I can write justify it. Text wrap on. So now I can type next to it. A lot of things I can do here. I'll hit save. So good. Now I have my little computer. And now I have the sidebar here. If I go up to this gear, this is all of my page actions and all the really important stuff, but if I go to Edit Site Layout from the gear, Edit Site Layout, I can click on the navigation. Right? And I have a little bit of control here, but I think actually I'll go to Other Links, and I'm going to add a URL. Text to display will be code.org. And the link will be 
also code.org. And then I'll say open that under new window. Okay. Okay. So now under other links, I have code.org. I can again click on that. And I can add as many links as I'd like. Again, add URL. This button right here. And click OK. I can add horizontal navigation if I want. And that puts buttons up here. Right? And then I can edit that horizontal navigation. And again, add a URL. The URL code.org. Code.org. Now, wait, that time I didn't open up a new window. So I'm going to trash that. And I could add it again if I wanted to. Those are some really basic features of Google Sites.